Hello lovely internet strangers. In this video, I would like to do a brief introduction to my feminist canon, anti-feminist canon reading project. I briefly covered this in an update video, but in case you didn't see that, and in case you're totally new to the channel, here's a basic overview of my intentions for this project. At some point, after thinking a lot about everything that I had been learning, my journey away from feminism, and where I wanted to go, I've always loved learning, I've always loved reading, and it occurred to me that there didn't seem to be one person who was not a feminist who had gone out and read the feminist canon. Given the fact that I used to be a feminist, I felt like I was the perfect person to undertake such a project, given that I've been on that side of the fence and crossed over to the other side of the fence. Originally, this was just going to be the usual feminist canon texts, like the second sex, the feminine mystique, the female eunuch. I started to see how much there really was out there, how much there had been recently, all the different camps of feminist thought that I was barely aware of. Also discovering that there wasn't really an anti-feminist canon, but that there are certain texts that have been written throughout the years that aren't stamped with the word anti-feminist on them, but present a different view of the issues that feminists talk about. And so the project has, is kind of intended as a way for me to give myself this unofficial, uncredentialed PhD in comparative thought and philosophy throughout history from women on women's issues, and then from the dissenting voices, some of which are also women, some of which are men. It's a very personal project because these are issues I think a lot about and continue to evolve my thinking on, and it all ties into what does it mean to be masculine, what does it mean to be feminine, which are questions that are very interesting and close to my heart. I hope that this can be an interesting project for others as well. You can find out what's in some of these books without having to actually read them, I will do that for you. So for each book I'm going to kind of stick to a format for the videos, although for certain books if they are a lot denser and tie into a lot of other issues, I'm sure that there will be different videos that I can do that tie in different books together or cover a certain time period, you know, do an overview of feminist thought in the 70s, for example. However, for each video, there will be essentially a review video where I will follow this format. I will tell you what the book is and the author, when it was published. I'll tell you why I chose the book. I will tell you where it sits in the feminist timeline, which means which books came directly before it, perhaps which books come directly after it, and what was going on with feminism at the time what was the dominant strain of feminist thought, what were the relevant issues for women politically, socially, etc. I will give you relevant biographical information about the author, which could include their activism, their marital status, their sexuality, any relevant ideological beliefs. Then I'll comment briefly on the book's structure and length, my experience of it, I will talk about the intended audience, and then I will broach the key arguments. So this is where in some cases with more dense books, I may do additional videos to really deep dive on some of the concepts in the book, but in the main review video I will try to just explain what the key arguments are. If I have time, I may briefly cover some additional points of interest found within the book, and then I will discuss whether I agree with the author's arguments or not. I will discuss whether I think they were accurate in the author's time versus whether I think they're relevant and accurate now, and then I'll possibly compare or link the work to other feminist works or anti-feminist works, and then I will We'll give a general rating, by borrow or bypass, by meaning this book was really, really relevant. You know, whether you're a feminist or not, this book is key to understanding feminist thought. Borrow means it was fine, you know, it's fine that I read it, but I wouldn't really recommend that anyone else go out and read it. And then bypass means this was a waste of my time, really, and no one else should read it ever. I hope that it gives you a good overview. If you have any questions or are curious to know, what is on the list. I do have a, a WordPress. I could post the list there and tweet it out or put it in the video description. I won't be pumping these out every week. I will be interspersing with other content because it takes me time to read these books, to take the notes, to digest them, and put all my thoughts together and present the arguments properly in video format. But this is the launch of an ongoing series. I'm actually really, really excited 
excited about this project. Someday I would love to turn this project into some kind of book, but for now I thought it would be good to turn it into a video series to start getting some of my thoughts in place. Thank you for watching. The first video in the series will be on Women and Economics by Charlotte Perkins Gilman, and I will have that for you very soon.